Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Sunon and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are taking a look at Merchant Cove. This is a new game from Final Frontier Games and it plays from 1 to 4 players in 60 to 90 minutes. That is what the box says. So in this game you are a merchant Yes. and you are in a cove. That's why the game is called Merchant Cove. And in this game, you are a different merchant. This is an asymmetrical game. So each player is basically playing their own little mini game. And they're doing these actions to, to build or produce or make these different items in different colors. And then at the end of the round, everybody has used all the time they had to do these actions and get the best possible, best possible wares into their warehouse. They're going to sell it to different people who's coming to the merchant cove to buy things and in this world if you are a red person you're only going to buy red things and if you're a blue person you're only going to buy blue things and that is how it works in this world so throughout the game you're going to be placing these different people dragging and pulling them out of the bank whoa and placing them into these different boats and when a boat is full it's going to float into one of the docks and it's going to end up there and that decides what you can sell to which colors throughout the game you're going to play three rounds at the end of the third round the player who has earned the most gold is going to be the winner of merchant Cove. you guessed correctly it was yes. not another game yeah so let's talk about how the game looks at first and the art is by the Miko, mm -hmm. um which has done uh, art for a lot of other games All like other Ar games. architects of the west kingdom the west kingdom series so if you like his artwork mm -hmm. you'll probably like this if you don't like it you probably don't like this the game has an insert uh -huh. which is really nice but if you buy an expansions they won't fit so um, either throw away the insert or keep the expansion boxes and then they also have some like tokens that what do you call cardboard that you have to put together cardboard putting together cardboard yes. yes what do you think about that because oh, you did it yes i, I did, did it. All, put it all together it's a kind of a lot of things to put together and the cardboard is kind of flimsy like it, it breaks a lot it didn't ruin it because i was not bringing it all the way but it felt like it was very you had to be very gentle with it yes. so yeah i do personally i i like the components here i like the look of the game i yeah, like the artwork the artwork for me is fresh do you like this artwork yeah, you I enjoy do. this i enjoy Endemico's artwork it's not like my favorite but i i enjoy his art i know it a lot in this game like it makes it feel like a whimsical world where you are a merchant trying to sell things which is, yes. is what you do in the game so it's good that it makes it feel that way that so every perfect. game needs components another thing every game needs is rule books a rule book it also needs other things but now we're going to talk about the the rule yeah. book and this is a, a pretty straightforward game as we are gonna like it's a really light game so there's not that much stuff going on there is a, it's a really big rule book but it has a lot of pictures a lot of um air between the, the the rules so it's easy to read and what i do like because rules in these kind of games is asymmetric game you hear you feel like it's going to be hard to, to to learn all of this but it's not really because you you do get all of these small rule books for all the different characters like in that. the game. So let's say we're gonna play a game right now and I do not know how the, how the alchemist works. I don't have to, I can just give it to you and you can read it if you don't fall asleep, which is what you usually do when you try to read rules. True. And I can read the, this blacksmith rule book and we read that and then we're ready to go, of course, after talking about the rest of yeah, the rules. Yeah, and if I don't remember some rules mm -hmm. for my uh, person, the character, then I can just mm -hmm. take it out and I don't need to like give me the rule book again. I need to check out this thing yes. also. So uh, no more sending around the rule book. Very big fan of this. this is something I really like. Yes, we play this game two and three players, yes. and we have spent between one and two hours mm -hmm. on it, depending. Like some sessions were faster and some were slower. Yeah, and what do you think? Like I think for the, the two hours, I feel it's a bit long. Yeah, I feel the best time we played it, uh, the best time to play it was two players around an hour. That was like the, the best way to play the game for me. Mm. I felt like the, the three player game was good. It was a bit long for us, but I felt like I got out of this game. Yeah, but I, I feel if you can get the time a little bit down with mm -hmm. three players mm -hmm. i think like the interaction with the boats and also with the time is mm -hmm. uh, really interesting with three players but i think it works pretty well with two as well that is true so now we're gonna go through like two two things we're gonna talk about now the first thing is gonna be things we like and then we're gonna talk about things we do not like this is just something we're trying to do in this review if there's something you like and you want to see more reviews 
That is not because we basically usually just ramble up and down on things we like and don't like. So this time we try to like separate them. Yeah. So if that's something that you enjoy, let us know and we might try to continue. I so think let's... I already said this two times. So yeah. let's go to the things that we like. like. First up. There is more player interaction here than I thought it would be. Because when I read of this, when I read about the game, and uh, it felt like it might be just me sitting and doing my own things, which I do not mind, because I like multiplayer solitaire games a lot. I don't care if I just sit and do something, and then you sit and do something. And uh, uh, yeah, we're going to go and talk more about that later in another section. <laughs> which section might that be? You will see later. Yeah. But the thing I do like, there's two things here that is a lot of interaction and is very interesting and cool. Might be my favorite part of the game. And that is the filling of the boats and the moving around on the time track. So how this works is that all the time, this is like patchwork and all those games that it's the latest player and the last player in the queue who is uh, who has to turn. So you can manipulate the time trying to do smaller actions when you need to be able to to, to uh, control things because when you move past different thresholds moving around the clock you get to pull an adventure from the bag and put it on a boat. Mm. So if you want to have a specific boat at a specific dock at a specific time you need to be able to manipulate that time. Mm. That is very interesting. Then you have the actual boat thing is which is just boats. boats yeah. uh, which is really cool. This is kind of almost the same thing as I feel like for example in Imhotep mm. where you want to Put the boat that is best for you at the dock you want it to be placed on and place the dock that, that is worse for you at the worst possible mm. space. So these two things together makes that central puzzle really interesting and is absolutely for me my favorite part of the game. Oh yeah, that is like what you're working for. Mm -hmm. Like the mini thing, okay, but like the... the uh, in interaction between those two mechanisms, mm -hmm. the boat and the time, really makes what you're doing in your own puzzle like worth it. Kind of, yes. you're you're building towards that. You're trying to sneak in the last meeple at the right boat at the right time, mm -hmm. and and also the interaction was a very like a pleasant welcome, pleasant surprise for me yeah. because I didn't see that one coming, and then has gotten more interesting by the time where I have played it as well. Yeah, really yes. like that. Mm. And the characters itself that mm -hmm. you uh, have your little own mini game mm -hmm. uh, on are all right to play. I thought I, I had fun. Mm -hmm. Some felt a little like uh, simple and straightforward, but that is also very great for learning a asymmetrical game because if it gets too complicated, it, it might be hard to get into. And mm -hmm. in this case, I don't need to learn anything about your character. Nope. It has actually nothing to do with me. I just need to see, okay, the, those are the wares that you're producing. Yeah. That is how I can react to that and make my own strategy. It might be like when you play a couple of times, like the first time you play, you don't need to know, but I think it's a positive thing to know because I can see like, oh, you're building you're up to doing up, a lot yeah, of, yeah. of red things, for example, Absolutely. or blue. Absolutely. Uh, so, but the first time you play, and this is, because this is a lighter family style game, so yes. it's, 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 it's really good for that. I really like that fact. Yes. So on the characters, let's move on to the things we, we do not like. like about this game. Yes. And there are a couple of things we do not like. First of all, some of the characters are not really fun to play. There, it feels like some of them are fun to play and oh, this is a fun little puzzle and some of them just feels a bit straightforward and not that fun. Like, so you know, we have played with all of the characters from all of the expansions and all of that. I'm pretty sure all of it's gonna be available at the stores, but we most of like, we're focusing on the things in the, the base, base game, game yeah. for this review. Mm. So I think from the base game, I think one was a lot of fun, one was, not that fun. Like the blacksmith, I played that one time and that was just really straightforward. Mm. You just do like, oh, it's obvious I have these dice, I'm gonna place them here. Uh, oh, I'm gonna get a new dice and then I'm gonna place it there and get uh, that thing because that is good. And it's, 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 it, it was fun to do it one time, but I don't, yeah. yeah I don't see, I, yeah. Yeah, because there's four in the main game mm -hmm. and I feel like um, they have made the different characters different enough. Yes, absolutely. I felt like every time I switched character, I moved on to a new puzzle. I did something that I, I didn't feel like I've done before with the other characters. And it's something that you like, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. So you should have said it earlier when we had this section. Of, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. They, yeah. They're going to flow I'm a bit. I'm just, we're I'm going just... to edit this. So I'm <laughs> saying <laughs> this. <laughs> it's no. going to look really weird. <laughs> yeah, very. Well, um, so I... I I don't mind it being simple characters, mm -hmm. but yes, yeah, some of them felt more interesting than the others. Mm -hmm. So I I think that they're leaning a little 
on the the interaction and the other part of the game mm -hmm. um, more than like making that uh, individual puzzle shine. Yeah. Just that is my feeling that I get from it. Yeah, one thing I want to say like about this and this kind of positive is that we have read here and like, oh, this character is too good or this character is too good. But I felt that most of the characters we have played against each other have been pretty balanced. Oh yeah, I agree. With like a, a couple of things like, oh, this was very simple, easy to get a lot of points, this felt very hard. But most of the time it feels like they are very balanced, mm, uh, yes. which is different from what I've heard from other people. Mm. So that is like just a feeling we have. We have not played Play the game like 40 times to get so that. So we don't know. And another thing I want to say, this is kind of like positive for, for now we're going to go into replay. I have a couple things I don't like. But this is actually a thing I do like about replay value. So I think this thing about likes and don't work. like doesn't yeah. work. It's going to be working better to do the replay thing and do yeah. that. Like, yeah, we're going to do that. But uh, yeah, hope this review makes sense anyway. So replay value, yeah. I think, even though there is not that much to discover with eight character. Let's like there's four characters in the base game, mm. which means that you can probably I no worries you can play each of them like three times yeah, if you yeah. cycle through them. Yeah, like like no problem. You can play more, of course, if you love the game. That's not what I'm saying, but like before you feel like okay, yeah, we we got this now, and and it's gonna be kind of different each time, and of course it depends on how much you like the game. But that means let's say three times. That means you can play the game like twelve times before you feel like. Oh, the characters are getting stiff. Yeah. Uh, at least, like, of course, not a set. This is what it is because mm -hmm. it depends different from all different players. Yes. There's a couple of other things that makes it maybe harder to enjoy it for that many plays, and that is the variability which is added in this base box, which is kind of weird. You have two things that's going to be different each game, which is the townsfolk, which like it's a, a time you hire them as staff for your shop to, to do different special abilities for you, and they have like one-time abilities, so the different kind of decks you use for them, you shuffle two of them at, uh, together at the beginning of the game, and that is kind of the deck you play with, and you shuffle two together, and in the game box you get three. So after two times playing it, you have seen everything those has to offer, which is kind of weird. And then you have another thing, which is even weirder because I see like this is a price of cards. I get it. If you're gonna like add five, six of those, it's gonna be more cards and more expensive. And this is already a big box with a lot of stuff. The other thing is the rogue cards, which you like. You have these gray adventurers who're not gonna buy something. They're just gonna be rogues and horrible against you most of the time. And they're gonna have a special rule that works for them every game uh, you play. And that is really cool. I like that. Yes. I really enjoy that. But in the base game, there's only two. Two of them. Oh no, there's three. There's one that just has no rules and do nothing. So, but so, there's, really, so there's two. I really like the rogue abilities that the also mixes them. up the game. But I think like I would buy the expansion pretty quickly to get the the more rogue cards because two of them. I, I because that is adding one card to the game that doesn't add any more cost or probably space. cost, but not that much. But yeah, what is that? But I that would add a lot to the game for me. Like I don't have that much of a problem with the um uh, the people that the you can hire. Part, yeah i agree uh, i think like adding the role cards if you if you, they would have added that in the base game i would be happy because you have this this is a secret stash and this is something and part of this i don't mind being in an expansion like different boats of different sizes some mini expansion that that's fine that it's in here but why add the role cards why not add 10 more of them like there's 14 be, there's yeah. 11 or 14 new row cards in this it should be and then there. there's some more additional for them it should be here it could be like five in here when you have played with the 10 that comes in the game mm. not the two that comes in the game mm. and i also feel like have five of the town's fork decks not three that just feels so that people should buy this to be able to play the game more than a couple of times. Because you want to have different abilities for that role so that they are interesting. It's not like, it's not don't buy the game because of that. But just so you know, if you want to, if you think you're going to play this a lot of times, you are going to want to buy this game. And that kind of bothers me. All the mini expansions, all the bolts, that's fine. But those cards should have been in the game box. That really bothers me. So those are a lot of things we like, a lot of things we do not like. Do you want to add something before we do the final thoughts? Yeah, I just like don't think like the roll cards are making or breaking the game. No. You get a lot of fun mm -hmm. with just the two roll cards, but yes. I think those cards really made for more replayability mm -hmm. and mixing up and making some more decision making in yeah. the, the what do you call it the interaction part of the yeah. game and yeah. 
I'm ready for final thoughts. Do you want to begin? Yes. Do it. I can do it. I I I think that I have already expressed like what I kind of feel. Mm-hmm. I feel like the interaction part of the game is the most exciting part. Yes. Having the time mechanism is really clever and mm-hmm. how that interacts with the boats and also like trying to sell the wares mm-hmm. that maybe is you are going for because then we can like cooperate to sail a boat where we wanted to go or sail maybe away, sail away. I have already decided on a type of uh, color that mm-hmm. I need to mm-hmm. sell and you're like blocking me or yeah. something and say yeah you're destroying my plan so that balance is really interesting mm-hmm. the um, individual puzzles I thought was all right but uh-huh. not the best part of the game but I I still think this is a good game. Mm-hmm. I would rate this a 7. Yeah, okay. So first off, um, I don't watch reviews for games that we are going to review because I don't want to get any yes. biases or anything like that. But it's been impossible to not see that many people have given this game a bad review because they thought it was going to be something different. So I'm going to say before I do my review, I didn't think this was going to be a, a, a medium game or a heavy game. I actually didn't know too much about it. I backed it because it looks cool. And that's what I usually do, and which I think is good because then I don't have any like high expectations. I just want to play a fun game. So I don't mind it being light. I think that's fine because mm. it, it, it is a, a fun little light puzzle most of the time. And I really like that main mechanism in the in the middle. So for me, I think that there are many things to like here. Yeah. And and if like it's colorful, it's fun, oh, yeah. it has all of those positive things. But also like the when I have a lot of fun with a character, it's a lot of fun. But if I don't have a lot of fun with a character, it's not that fun because I am sitting and doing that little puzzle. And if that's not fun, then half of the game is not fun. Uh, and there was no character was not fun, but it was very different how much fun I had with those different characters. Mm. I think the game is good. I don't think the game is amazing. I do think for now that I would like to keep it mm. because we have we have all of the expansions. We got like all of the expansions inside here and inside the main box, so it's not that much stuff to to keep around. Mm. So I think I would like to keep it for now. Maybe if we don't play it in the next five years, we might get rid of it. The next I don't know. keep on code. Yes, the next round keep on code like twenty fifteen. So. I think it's a good game. I agree with you. It's a seven for me. It's um, like not in the amazing top range, but not in like it's a more than average game and a good game, yeah. not amazing. And that is the end of another review. We hope this made you get some more feeling about the game. And uh, you probably have seen like sixteen reviews already, but hopefully this gave you something as well. And that is the end of this video. If you are still here and you have not clicked that subscribe button. Do what it. are you waiting it's for? Free and Come it's on. fun, and it makes you see more videos of Norwegian speaking about cardboard. So what is not to like? And if you want to do something else that's not free, not fun, I almost said not free, but still fun, you can go to Patreon.com/slash/BoardGamingRamblings and help us out there. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And bye bye.